All right, 2014 suspension time. Got everything off. And here's the new stuff. So you're gonna reuse your um, spacer, if you wanna call it that. Usually, you'll get a, uh, a brand new bushing. Here, let me show you the old ones here. So here's the old one. This actually comes with, it should come with the new strut, but this one's pretty crushed down. I mean, the new ones, I'd say probably a half inch, inch taller, just because it got smushed down so much. So that should come with a new strut. Um, the new strut also comes with a new top nut. And the rears, you don't need a spring compressor on. There's just not that much tension on them to begin with. Uh, even putting the nut back on, you can kind of push down and then uh, just thread the nut on and get it started. So uh, yellow pink, that's how you can kind of tell which strut is on here. I'm sure there's some kind of cross-reference chart on which colors go with what models. Uh, but yellow pink is going to be the rear. Now to get it off, there's three nuts. Once you pull the carpet out of here, three nuts right on top. It's pretty easy, both sides. And then there's this carpet. You've got two 10 millimeter nuts, pull the carpet. Once you get that off, you'll see these two mounting holes here. That's where this bracket mounts on there. And then one 19 millimeter bolt nut here and then one bolt here so you pull these both out this arm you'll have to pry down to get the strut over it and out and then it just drops down now the front is even easier it's your three top nuts up there and then all you got to do for the bottom is the one mounting bolt and that's it the strut will just fall out of here you don't have to take off this control arm nut or anything you just pop that off and it comes out so here's the front one there's a difference front left and right f1l just for the bracket for the uh, brake line i think that's the only difference because on the other side it's opposite side yellow 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 on front the old fronts were yellow white same with the rears yellow white and that pretty much concludes the video uh, pretty straightforward Nothing too crazy. You just you'll probably need a spring compressor, something cheap like that, just to get the fronts. Cause easy enough to compress about a half inch inch to get the nut on. So any questions, let me know. I'll put all the part numbers and link the first video I have on this in there. Uh, but I'll be doing a drive after this to go along with my initial baseline drive that I did today, just to compare the differences.